Three Smiles, episode 247. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's been a minute, guys. I haven't uploaded a free-to-play episode in a really, really long time, I think. I actually went on a cruise recently, and it was a lot of fun. It was a, a three-night, uh, four-day Bahama trip. Um, we're using Royal Caribbean ship, and it was a uh, Allure of the Seas. It's the first time I ever went on like a Oasis class ship, and I believe uh, Allure of the Seas is the seventh largest cruise ship in the world, as far as like capacity and size, I think. And it was a lot of fun. Um, great food, uh, great shows, environment, um, just very very chill. I don't know if you guys ever been on a cruise before. If you haven't, you should definitely try to book one because it's it's a lot of fun. So. Yeah, um, I'll show you some pictures here actually, like from my cruise trip recently. Um, if you guys ever want to check out like more of my personal, um, I guess, life or, you know, see other pictures or things that I do in my, in IRL, then make sure to follow my Instagram. Make sure to follow that. I'll have a link to it in the description and in comment section maybe. But uh, yeah, definitely check out my Instagram. Go ahead and follow me if you would like to. Uh, yeah, so that was uh, something that happened recently. And I believe this is my third or fourth time going on a cruise in the past two years. Um, believe it or not, I actually get a lot of free cruise offers, like a lot. Uh, I'll get like, I mean, I could go every month if I want to for free. I say quote unquote free, but uh, I mean, I still have to pay the port fee, which is like $130 or something. But aside from that, I can, yeah, pretty much just go for, for free, you know, in a sense. Um, I still have to pay for the internet if I want to, I still have to pay for the, uh, the drink package if I want to, or even like, you know, the beverage package, like the refreshment package, which includes like the soda, like, you know, the mocktails and whatever, or even, I guess, drink package, but I don't drink. So, <clears throat> as far as alcohol goes. Anyways, um, yeah, so there's been a lot of stuff to happen recently on, uh, in this game. We had a new, uh, champion that's been added to the game that we aren't able to play with just yet because it is part of the seven day login reward. And that is Loki, right? And there's also gonna be Thor at some point. Um, there's gonna be Freya. There's gonna be, um, uh, what's the other one? Odin, right? Who is kind of currently a boss for this new dungeon that just came out. And if you guys haven't checked it out yet, make sure to check out my team that I run for this. I do have a full breakdown. I also go into like different options. Um, if you don't have, you know, like, three newts or whatever you know what i mean so it's uh yeah there's, there's a lot of there are options out there okay um you don't have to have a newt i don't think yeah there are some teams i've seen that don't have to have a newt but he's kind of like pretty uh pretty big right he's essential in a way i guess he's not essential he's you would you would wish you had him right or in a Crisia, that would work too so it's uh yeah it's just one of those uh champions that are just insane for every part of pve uh, in the game uh, but yeah but there's also a um, a primal summons taking place right now which is a 2x for primal shards and I got 11 primal shards here guys and I've been saving this up for quite a bit I don't remember the last time we had a 2x primal summons but I've been saving up all my primal shards so I can finally get a mythical champion on my free to play account right that'd be really nice um, what else has been going on so as you can see I saved up a lot of shards so far Right, I'm just trying to be prepared in case there's like a a deck of fate that involves opening shards where you get a guaranteed legendary, kind of the way they made for Tormund, right, not too long ago, where you uh, did a bunch of like, I forgot what it was exactly, but I think it was a deck of fates where, oh no, it wasn't Tormund, it was, uh, Tormund was part of a different thing. Yeah, what I'm talking about was actually this guy. Yeah, this guy was a part of a deck of fates where you collect his fragments while flipping those cards over, right? So I just want to make sure I put myself in position to get... Um, whatever champions that are available, I'm gonna guess it's the Freya, but or and I think that Thor is probably the fusion champion, right? So yeah. Um, as far as uh, what else is going on right now? Siege. Oh, for Siege, I actually won. Uh, my clan has won three in a row, which is pretty sweet because I was able to collect uh, two of these now, right? Now I have two of these portraits from the Siege. But for some reason, I guess they only come in like waves or something or certain tiers because I'm not able to collect any of these, right? Like I, I got, I, I got three win ch uh, chests, 
but the first two had these two avatars, but the third one did not have the avatar. Um, but it did have the fragments for um, this champion right here, Lamasu. So yeah, over time I'll be able to collect that, that'd be really nice. And yeah, that pretty much covers uh, most of the stuff that has been happening in the game so far that I have uh, haven't really shared with you guys on my free to play account. Um, there were some champions I did start uh, working on masteries, and that was cardio because I do want to use a uh, second cardio for... Um, um, I guess like I, I do want to make a Fire Knight hard team at some point, so I did build up my second cardio here. And I did also finish the masteries for Mono Macabre. Um, I think Supreme Alien I already had done, but I started leveling these champions so I can get them to 60. I don't know, just because. Um, some other champions I do want to finish the mastery for is there definitely the Farrakhan. Um, what else is there? Oh yeah, Dark Hill is another one I need to finish as far as masteries goes. Archmage Helmet's another one, Astralis another one. Deliana for whatever reason, I just want to build her out, I don't know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I think yeah, this guy also has to finish leveling out. And I think that pretty much covers most of the champions here. I did end up building my third Newt. As if you guys want to check out my uh, my Odin Dungeon Boss video that I put out um, very recently, definitely check it out. Uh, that's why I had to build my third Newt, which is so awesome. Like Newt is he's so insane. Like I'm so happy and fortunate and blessed to have all three of them on my account. I I wouldn't even be mad if I got a fourth one. That's that's just how good he is. Like you could use four, right? Um, but yeah. So I do want to go to get to the sharp pulls. All right, so we are about five minutes in and I still haven't gotten to the sharp pulls. And I know a lot of you out there are probably going to be like, hey, man, we're five minutes in and we where's a sharp pull video? I thought there's a sharp pull video. Guys, relax. This is my free to play episode, free to play series where I just try to take it chill and, you know, just show you my uh, my progression as far as like my account goes. But because I have been playing on this account for maybe like the past two, three years now. And uh, yeah, so it's just like. You know, showing my progression, just hanging out, chilling, and yeah, talking with you guys. Well, I guess me talking to you. Um, you guys could talk back to me actually by commenting down below if you guys want to say whatever it is you want to say. So yeah, all right. So that is uh, my current update on my roster and whatnot. And if you guys haven't checked out my most recent boy shark polls, well, you can see it, but I don't want to talk about it anymore beyond that. All right, here we go. So as far as primal shards goes. My most wanted primal champion, my mythical champion, is going to be Sigfrin. This guy is someone I want so, so bad because not only is he really good, not only does he look amazing, I have a six star soul waiting for him right here. This guy. This is who I want. That is exactly who I want to pull. Um, my favorite champion here is probably, honestly, it's going to be Crixia. She probably is my favorite mythical champion, but who I want the most out of all of them right now is the Sigfrin. Mainly because he's so insane and also I have the 6 star for him. This guy, I mean, honestly, I don't remember what, his, uh, what, what he does, to be honest. But it, <laughs> it wasn't so memorable. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, so here we go. I think I am about... Uh, I think I'm like 60 or 50 or 60 primals in. I, I, I honestly don't have any clue what my uh, pity is at this point. I should have been ca keeping count, but... It's just, it's just so hard to rack up Primal Shards. Like, Void Shards and Sacred Shards, I can rack them up pretty easily because of Clan Boss and, you know, Doom Tower and whatever. But these Shards are so hard to come by for me because I can only get them from, like, the daily, uh, this 30-day login, right? That's one. And then, yeah, one. And then, like, little fragment pieces here and there from dungeons if I push far enough, right? So it's really hard to accumulate these. So these are hard-earned 11 Primal Shards. And I'm really, really hoping I get one. Mythical champion here, my first ever mythical champion. It better not be a Makage, alright? Do not do that to me. Alright, Plarium? Alright, so here we go. Plarium, please. Please, please, please bless this account. I would really, really like Sigfrin. That would make my day, my week, my year. It would be amazing. Let's go. Here we go, guys. We could also get legendaries off of this, right? It's a 2x chance. Okay, we start off with an epic. And we got... Oh. Uh, Y Renin Silken? I think this is new from my free-to-play account. Attack down, okay. Those turn meters of allies, places of speed increase. Oh, interesting. Revise. Oh, wow, wow. Really, really uh, fantastic Sylvan uh, support champion. Especially for Faction Wars, right? Wow, that's really, really solid support kit. Okay, there we go. 
All right, so I have 10 left here. I thought about it. Am I going to do singles or am I going to do a temple? I think we got to go with the temple. Like, I don't think I've ever done a temple on Primal Shards before, so this will be a first time for me on my free-to-play count. All right, Plurium, just don't do me dirty, all right? If I could get multiple mythical champions here, that would be sweet. Come on, Plurium. Come on. This is it right here. Let me see red. Come on. Come on. Let me get my first ever mythical champion here, right here. Please. Please. Come on. No. <laughs> oh my gosh, the suspense. Oh, what a letdown, guys. We did not get a single mythical champion, not even a legendary champion, which is a 2% chance during this primal summons event. What a letdown. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, it's going to be quite a while since I until I rack up a bunch of uh, primal shards again. But we did get Virgus, who's an excellent champion in uh, Doom Tower boss, right? Really, really fantastic against the, um, the Scarab King, that is, uh, on a certain affinity. But yeah, <laughs> and Old, Her Old Hermit George, which is also really, really good for the factions, uh, Faction Wars, because he got Revive, he's got the Filter Meteors, which is great, um, HP Burn. <sighs> what a bummer, guys. So once again, we are Mythicless on our free-to-play account. Um, I mean, I'm pretty... Sh like, I'm pretty close to getting this done, so this could be my first Mythical Champion. Uh, there is an event coming out where I I think I'm able to get some of these champions, actually. I think. I'm not too certain. Maybe it was a Legendary Champion. I don't remember. But these are the two that I'm missing that are just impossible for me to get. But, man, that sucks. And I, and I do have a, uh, a decent amount of books saved up for uh, a Mythical Champion. Seven, is, it's not enough to get, like, a full maxed out one, but... You typically need like 9 to 10, right? So, pretty close. But yeah, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we did not get it done, guys. And that really sucks. Alright, so what we can do here, real quick, is... I guess I'll just show you uh, a run through my my new fantastic OP free-to-play... My 100% free-to-play team, alright? It's not a free-to-play friendly team. It's my personal 100% free-to-play team, alright? So, yeah, I mean, this set is incredible. Pinpoint, you just, you, if you have a ring, if you have an amulet, you combo that together, that's automatically 10% speed, 20 accuracy, which is fantastic. Um, yeah. But, I mean, all in all, I think this, uh, and also the drop rate for these are pretty good, honestly. Like, I thought, because there are a bunch of crappy sets in here, right? Um, but, like, I've been getting a fair amount of these, uh, this, this set. It's been, like, it's, it's been like almost 50 50 actually it feels like like 50 percent pinpoint and then the rest is a, the rest is like this or maybe even it's like 60 percent and like 40 like that's what it really feels like because i've been getting like a decent amount of pinpoints but yeah let's just uh do one more because i got enough energy here for this like all my energy that i have right now i just want to cram it into here but i'm just saving my gems just in case i in case there's like a, a guarantees uh legendary summon event oh no okay we're good yeah, so just in case there's like a guaranteed legendary summon event here and I just want to, you know, be prepared and I don't want to blow all my uh, resources just yet. Not yet. Considering there's also a fusion coming out soon. And since there's like eight weeks left on this, I just, you know, I don't have to rush using all my gems on this yet. Right? So that's the idea. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I wish, yeah, for the, for the sake of the video, I wish I could have got a mythical champion. But it's really unfortunate I did not get one. Um, by the way, guys, if you guys want to see more Primal Shard Summons events, um, or Primal Shard Summon videos, I put out two recently. One was, uh, um, I guess, like a, a, a collab that I did with Scratch, like a mini collab. Uh, we reopened over 1,100 Primal Shards split between us two. And we kind of competed against each other to see who would pull more. But I also pulled a bunch of Primal Shards on my on the main account, so make sure to check that out as well if you want to see. I did get my most wanted on there, but one day I will get my most wanted on here, which is the Sigfrun. Sigfrun, right? I think that's how you say his name. Sigfrun? Sigfrun? I don't know. But I really want him. Anyways, yeah, thank you for uh, watching my video, guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I hope you guys are able to pull whatever it is you're looking for, right? Again, mine is this guy. Look how insane he looks, guys. That is insane. Yeah, this guy's really good.
But yeah, good luck to the rest of you that um, I'm, I guess by the time you guys are watching this, you guys have already pulled your shards. I hope you got what you were looking for. And if you guys are pulling for any future events, then I hope you guys are, get exactly what you're looking for. And I hope your Primal Shard Summon session went better than mine did, because mine was, it was a dud, to be honest. Because no legendary, no mythicals. But yeah, thank you for watching, everybody. Hope you guys, once again, have a great rest of your day. And if you guys enjoy my content, if you guys want to continue following my content, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to drop a like on this video, because it helps out tremendously with the algorithm. And also drop a comment down below and let me know you know, what did you guys get? Or if there's anything you guys want to share with me, um, yeah, I'm, I would be glad to read it and respond to you guys. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching once again. I will see you all in the next video.